I really wish I had known about this app in 2020 and 2021 during like the high point of COVID-19. It's called Meet in One, and it's basically like a beefy... All oh, right, I have no strength. Basically just like a beefy version of Google Meet. It's available on Windows through the Microsoft Store, and it's available on Mac through the Mac App Store. And even if you're not going to be using Google Meet as much nowadays, here's why I still think that you should get the app. Now the first obvious reason is that Meet in One is a desktop app. Now you'll notice with a lot of other Google services that they don't have desktop apps. YouTube doesn't, Gmail doesn't, Google Docs doesn't, and the same goes for Google Meet. So it's a plus for Meet in One to be a desktop app. Even the other video conferencing apps like Skype, Teams, Partially FaceTime, and heck, even Skype, they have desktop apps. But one of the biggest advantages of Meet in One is this, the dashboard. So let's look at all four of these sections here. So at the top left, we have our join meeting section. Now this section is what most people use Google Meet for. They get a link from their friend or their relative, they paste the link in the address bar, click join meeting, and they're on their way to talking with whatever person they want to. Hooray! But the special thing about this is that there's another button, add meeting link. So if there's a meeting that you go to really frequently, like I have two over here, a nice meet with my friend and my ELA tutoring class. You can add that link as like a quick access button so you can just click and join whenever you need to. No need to like remember the link or need to remember where the link was saved in whatever app. No, you just click on me in one, you click on the link and that's it. Okay, this one at the bottom right, statistics. Very self-explanatory, it just shows in like a graph, a bar graph, just how much time you've spent in a Google Meet meeting in Meet in One this week. Very simple. Now I don't want to get to create new meeting and upcoming meetings just yet because there's another explanation that I first have to make before we get to those things. So another added feature of Meet in One is that you can add multiple accounts to use because most people don't use one account for everything. A lot of people have their personal account and their work or school account that they use for Google Meet. So for example, in my quick access links, we have a nice meet with my friend. I'd use my personal account for that. Um, and for the ELA tutoring class, I'd use my school account for that. Okay, now we can get to create new meeting and upcoming meetings. So because you can add multiple accounts, create new meeting allows you to just create a new meeting from any account you desire. And for upcoming meetings, Meet in One uses your Google Calendar from the accounts that you've added to list the meetings that you have for upcoming days. Pretty nice. And you can get all of these things that I just mentioned for free. But if you really want to step up your game in Meet in One, you also have a pro version. So oh my god, those are a lot of features. So I'm just going to read off a couple of them because I cannot explain every single one of these. So you get background blur and virtual backgrounds, picture in picture, push to talk with a space key, auto copy URL, auto open chat, auto enable captions, mirror videos, all of these things for $5 a month with Meet in One Pro. So yeah, whether you're considering using the free version or the pro version, I'd say this is a must get from the Microsoft Store or the Mac App Store. Praise the developers who made it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, wash your hands, take a shower, do whatever you need to do. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!